Hi guys, Charlie here from Funky Vapes, yet again with another funky review for everyone today. This afternoon we're going to be taking a look at the Bliss Atomizer, um, Genesis Rebuildable Atomizer by Doc Dave. Just been trying to waste some time because I forgot to put this together ahead of time. So, there it is. That's the Bliss. That's what the Bliss looks like. So, I'd like to look at this pretty in depth. I'm going to make up a coil with everybody, uh, explain how it's going kind of thing. I have two videos up. Uh, the previous two videos are me fiddling with it, trying to get it to uh, to work as intended, I guess. I did have some difficulties with that. So, this is a uh, version 1 Bliss. First things first, takes its own drip tip, neato, whatever. Top cap, comes off like so. Very, very thick machine stainless steel. It's got uh, two air holes in it. These are rather small. I'm actually going to bore one out, I'm thinking, but neither here nor there. So we're left with this. Um, in terms of the, the coil and the post and everything, this is uh, meant to be run with a dual coil setup, as you can see. Two holes, two grounding screws, and um, you have the center post here with um, some washers. You can, of course, use a single coil, which is what I've been doing. What I like to do is take a small piece of stainless steel mesh and just plug up one of those extra holes. So now we have a fill hole and a... Um, just hold on here. We have a fill hole and we have a uh, a hole for your coil. So one of them is all plugged up. There it is. Cool. So the Bliss is really neat because it has this uh, windowed tank protector, which is very nice, very reminiscent of the Katana. And of course, the reason for that is we have a very small, very thin Pyrex tank here. Or maybe fused quartz, I'm not sure. It's not too important, but it is very, very delicate. And I imagine it would break easy. So we're left with this, our bare bonesy guy here. So this, as I said, is a re revision one. Uh, the problem, the reason there is a revision two, is because on this model, the O rings here, I guess they go too far into the cap, or the cap is threaded too much. So if you look, where this o-ring meets there's actually threads that far in so it's sitting on the threads so the juice kind of makes its way through the threads as the juice threads down and eventually apparently it leaks out i haven't had that trouble at all although because the juice is already sitting there i haven't had it come out but when i take the top cap off to refill usually i get a bunch of juice everywhere i have to take you know the tank protector off wipe all that down the tank protector keeps it going from in your battery terminal but you still have to take it off and get everything a good clean. So it's a pain in the ass. Apparently, uh, Doc Dave is accepting them back to turn them into revision twos where I guess the threading issue is fixed. But um, I haven't been able to get a hold of him. I've tried through the forums. He actually messaged me yesterday helping me find a Caravella, which was super nice. I really like the guy. But it's been kind of a, I don't know, a challenge to figure out how to actually get these back. In any case, I bought some O-rings. I'll put a link in the description. Apparently, these O-rings fix the issue, but I haven't been having that much of an issue. So, we'll move along. What I did have an issue with, according to my videos, was my wick. Um, I wasn't getting it to wick properly. So, thanks to some help from some friends, credit is given in the videos, I've been making very thin-walled hollow wicks. I don't know if you can see my hand through there, the light. Yeah, there you go. So the hole goes all the way through the middle, very, very thin wicks. So I'm using 500 mesh. So the way I've been getting this to work properly is um, cut your mesh as you normally would. Uh, no big hassle there. Okay, make sure it fits in the hole, but it uh, it kind of goes up and down with ease. This one's actually uh, feels like it's thickened up a bit. I'm just going to roll it. You want a gap between the wick and the wick hole for optimal feeding. There we go. So if I turn that upside down, it comes right out pretty much. So I mentioned earlier you couldn't use that Peter K method using a drill bit with this because now the wick is thinner than the wick hole, but you still can really. You just need something with the same diameter as your 
uh, wick, but it has to be very, very close. So this is actually a tad thicker, but what I like to do is, when I do my wraps, I make them as close as I can to each other. I'm still on the lookout for something that's actually the right diameter. Get them as close as they'll go, very, very close to each other. And then I mount it inside um, using this. <laughs> this is um, it's a very small area to work with on the Bliss. I don't know if you can notice, but the... Okay, so I think I've fixed the problem. Just space these coils out. Excruciatingly hot. So this is probably the worst coil I've built in uh, in weeks, but it's actually usually much easier. I don't know why it didn't work this time. I just look at the draw, I suppose. Coils are basically well uh, glowing here. Um, I collapsed uh, my wick for a second there, which kind of sucks, but I um, just run a syringe through it and try to wiggle it around and get her open again. There we go. All is good in the world. So, okay. It's kind of haphazard, but I, I don't even know why I set it up on camera. You guys know how to set up Genesis stuff. So we'll put a little juice on it. There it goes. Holy smokes, it's going away. Fantastic. Do that a couple more times. I also didn't uh, torch this coil beforehand, which I normally do. But we're getting tons of nice vapor. All glowing at pretty much the same time, which is what you want. Um... Now we'll just see if this is going to feed for us. Yep, so it's glowing, and it's glowing at the rate of the juice evaporating. Um, it's not actually short, because as you see there, um, Coils are all glowing at pretty much the exact same time, which is what you want. I'm just a little bit concerned about this top coil here. Should be good. So we'll juice it up one more time. And then hope to hell it feeds. So fill up the tank through the fill hole. Very easy. The syringe bottle is terrible. And we just have some crystal clear Siberian winter menthol juice here from um, Maple Leaf Vapes. Put the tank protector on, which is important to use, and I haven't heard anyone mention this. You can't actually use this without the tank protector if you prefer the look, because the top cap actually touches it, and it keeps the holes lined up perfectly. I guess when they punched the holes, they did it with the cap on, and it'll change the... Um, the position of the air hole ever so slightly um, if you don't have the tank protector on so it'll throw it off I mean I guess you could use it it's just your air hole won't line up perfectly so both these air holes line up great so I'm gonna go ahead and take a vape hopefully it works oh my god works great um, It 
if you see me wincing, it's not because there's any dry spots or um, too much throat hit. This is this is the most powerful juice I've ever. There's so much menthol in this; it's insane. It um, just breathing in afterwards, it's like holy hell! It's very mentholy, which is I think it's fantastic, and I get used to it after about half an hour or so. But I'm going to use it to mix with some other juice. Um, I was just in the mood for some menthol right now. So uh, I'll review the juice after too. So anyways, here uh, here's how it performs. I'll take a few um, few rips on it. So it's just on a crappy old bolt. I'm waiting on, um, still trying to find that Caravella. Um, I might break down and describe a Paps while I wait for mine to be made. The Caravella, that is. So it's on a crappy bolt. It's like a $20 device. Uh, 3.7 volt, 18500 battery. And I did like a four wrap of this at the end of it all, so it's gonna work pretty well. This juice is intense. I have to, <clears throat> I have to stop, but I could keep going. It would keep up. That juice is very intense. Whew, Siberian winter. So, holy smokes! Um, as you can see, I'm barely tilting it. It's feeding great, actually. I hold it where it feels natural. I don't like to vape totally vertically, but. I she feeds. Um. Obviously, the more you tell it, the faster it's going to feed, too, so. Usually like it in that 5 o'clock position. Anyways, the two air holes make for an interesting draw. Um, you can actually clog one up and just notice the difference. Way too, it's not enough for me. Um, I'd prefer separate top caps if you could get it with just the um, the one hole and then you can make it bigger um, because it actually is it's in between an airy draw like a zen and a like a did clone stock or a phoenix like those really they're really tiny holes but there's two of them so it doesn't increase that uh, that airflow Whew, that's a good juice so anyways what i like and what i don't like about it what i don't like is that um stock like as a v1 it didn't work as intended like there, there was flaws in it uh, that I suppose should have been caught, but it happens. And he is offering an upgrade if you mail it there and back. Um, I wish you would just make top caps, like new top caps for us, and um, the new O-ring set, and just, I would buy it. I would pay, you know, whatever it costs, like, I don't know, what, 40 bucks or whatever a top cap's going to cost me in the O-rings, and just fix it myself kind of deal. I understand that maybe there's an issue with the aligning of the air holes, but I would even drill my own hole. I just don't want to mail this thing out and wait for it again. It'll be weeks and um, yeah I'd rather just do it myself but anyways I don't like that aspect of it the tank is a pretty small tank it's like a 2 mil capacity but I fill it like 3 times throughout the day I usually have another device with me so it's not a big deal love that you can use your own drip tip the uh, finish on it is great it's uh, not quite a matte not quite polished you won't be able to see this at all I don't think because my webcam is terrible but you can actually see like the lathe marks and there's like thousands of micro micro grooves in it so when you scratch it I don't know if you can hear that you can actually hear the grooves on it very fine so it gives it a very nice brush texture kind of thing but I think it's just the raw um, like the CNC lathe tooth kind of thing going at it it's very nice I think I might polish it up when my Caravella gets here diameter is really great I don't know what else I can say about it Stock, they're like 139 bucks, which is great. Um, I'd recommend picking up some extra tanks. I guarantee you I'll break this one at some point. I have an extra one. Um, understand that, as was the case with mine, I was used to a different Genesis wick kind of thing, so you have to change the way you make your wick. You want it thinner than the uh, the wick hole, which I guess is pretty typical. I was just, with the Peter K method, you want it the exact same diameter. 
make a thinner wick, make it hollow, and it feeds totally fine. It's taking like a day to get used to it. I've been using it for a week like this, and it's fantastic. So yeah, there she is. That's the Bliss. Very happy with it. I'm more than uh, happy with uh, the cost versus the performance. I just wish everything was a little more fine-tuned. The Revision 2s will be fine. Titanium's coming out. I think they're 189 bucks. I just hope Doc Dave considers making top caps for us v, uh, V1 people and the O-ring replacements and just selling that to us as a package. I've talked to a lot of people with these blisses, and they're willing to pay as well. I can't speak for everyone, but great, great rebuildable atomizer. I'm going to dick around with two coils. I think that'll be fun, too. But, uh, yeah, overall, very impressed. Enjoying it very much. So that's the bliss. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. There's better reviews out there, as always. I'm just giving you my impressions of it as I progress through the Genesis stuff. Uh, Monday morning, I'll have an Orion here for everyone. Got the AGAT I'm going to do a review of. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm just going to mention now, every Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Funky Vapes Fun Time Vaping Variety Hour or two. And uh, that's on the Canadian Vaping Network, CVCN. Uh, yeah, I do a two-hour broadcast. So if you're uh, around and interested, come check it out. It's very fun. We have some juice giveaways from uh, Stinky Canuck. They're my sponsor. Uh, some stickers, that kind of stuff. It's just a great place. If you have any questions, it's a good place to just chat openly about it. We have a lot of fun. So, yeah, catch you this Tuesday if you're there. But thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Vape Groovely, and I'll catch you later.